Hello, welcome to my unboxing video of Devil May Cry, the board game. That's not what it's called, it's Devil May Cry, the bloody palace. Uh, it's a Kickstarter game. It's the Kickstarter edition, sorry. So we're going to be unboxing the core box here. You can see my lovely studio light there reflected in the art. The Walking Arsenal expansion right here. Should I just awkwardly stack all these on top of each other? Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? We've got the Alpha and Omega expansion. Let's put that up there. The Devil Trigger expansion. There we go. Let's just stack that on top right there. Also have this, which I think is just um, some extra miniatures that were like had a production error. So there you have it. That's, this is all of the Kickstarter edition. I backed it, I want to say like 2018. And I think it was like about £100. I haven't played Devil It seems to be based largely on Devil May Cry, which I haven't played. But I've played Devil May Cry 4. I'm sure I can figure it out. Uh, yeah, so let's get down to it. I'm going to unbox the core box first and work my way up in some order and then after all that I'll do an overview of all the miniatures. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. So I thought I'd start this video by just showing you the box that the Kickstarter stuff actually came in. So you can see it's got the Steamforge logo on there. It's a very heavy box. I'm struggling to move it with one hand. Um, it shows what everything's in the box, shows like just weight and items. Um, but And it's got the Steamforge logo but you know I thought it was quite a little nice box all things considered. Um, and then strapped to the top is this uh, little expansion box for the miniatures due to the production error. Um, but yeah, so that's the box that it came in. Let's get started with the actual unboxing. So here's the Kickstarter box. Uh, already pre-cut the cell tape there. Um, just a plain piece of paper there. So here you go. You can see... <coughs> the Bloody Palace expansion. This box is massive. It does not fit on my desk. There's another bit of cardboard there. What we got here? <laughs> the Alpha and the Omega expansion. So what was that other one? That one was Devil Trigger expansion. Right. Um, and then Okay, so this is the core box. It's very heavy. And again, lots of boxes. Don't really know where to put everything. <laughs> so I'm just like stabilizing bits. And the final expansion, which is the Walking Arsenal expansion. So that can get gone now. And yeah, so that's everything that's in the Kickstarter box. So here we have the core box of Devil May Cry, the Bloody Palace. And you can see some pretty nice art on the front. There's Dante, short haired Dante, emo Dante. What else can you want? There's also a little tiny person there but actually the art on the box really nice and there's some uh Nero art on the side and like this sort of stuff the other side and I think it'll look quite nice on a shelf to be honest um onto the back we got some quotes a powerful demon is about to resurrect and we need your help Dante from V, the mysterious one. Uh, style counts for everything in this fast-paced hack-and-slash board game for one to four players. Take control of an iconic devil hunter, Dante, Nero, Trish, or V, and build up it, and build impressive attack combos as you face down waves of increasingly powerful monsters and demons. Compete to outscore other devil hunters and slay enemies with style to move up the ranks. Will you make it all the way up to coveted smoking sexy style triple S rank? 
based on the Bloody Palace game mode from the critically acclaimed Devil May Cry 5 video game. Devil May Cry The Bloody Palace brings the same high-octane high action and demon-slaying style to your tabletop. Right, so let's open this up carefully. Carefully. Oh, well. Is this is this how the pros unbox? <laughs> Get my knife out of the way. Throw that away. So the board the box has nice nice matte finish. And the moment of truth. This is a big box. Ah. Oh, nothing nothing on the inside. But similar to um, Resident Evil comes with a little, little art thing from the game. Very nice. Uh, we have the rule book, which well, yeah tells you all about stuff in the game. Very nice rule book. I love the colours and there's the little reference sheet at the back. So this is I'm assuming the board. So let's get the board out. So here you go, here's the board. Doesn't really fit on my desk because it's quite a big board. But yeah, it's quite, it's quite nice. But yeah, so let's, let's put this away and get back to the box. Yeah, so this is the box that was under the board. We got some tokens. Um, and I'll open, I'll open the tokens, why not? I'm not going to pop them all out because we don't want to be here all day. Because I have a thing to say, yeah. Slide this. Ooh, oh, shit. Um, so, yeah, these are all the little tokens. Some quite nice, nice art on the tokens again. And these, I think, are like the player boards. Which, I mean, they look like the right. No. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, four of them, because this is a four player game. And obviously here is the reason you buy this sort of games. The minis. Look at all those minis in a very neat packaging. Not a lot of wasted space in this uh, box. That was an issue I had with the Resident Evil 2 board game. A lot of wasted space in the box. Right, so... <laughs> I'm not going too into the in-depth with the minis because I will do a full in-depth look at all these minis after I've done the unboxing. But you know, you get you get a good overview of what comes in the box. So there's no point in me opening these ones because no point in opening any of these because they're just minis. You'll see them all at the end. But this this little thing has got some cards in it. So let's find my knife. Let's get this little bad boy open. Ooh. And ah. Ooh. I can take away the bottom of the box now. So we're just gonna take this off. So I'll take a mini out just to show you. But yeah, all very neat in the mit in there. And here is a deck of cards. Lots of decks of cards. So let's open some of these up. Have a look. How many times can I flick the knife open in one video? Is the real question. Okay, so I'm guessing these are all. Ooh, I like that. The these are some stylish cards. Look at that. It's like Nero's, Nero art, Trish art, and V art. And then you get the four 
character cards with stats. Let's see what's in it. Ooh, what's in, what's in this deck? So, ooh. so much plastic. So I'm guessing these are enemy cards, if I had to guess. Obviously I haven't played any of these, but they look like the enemies. They're also very nice, very like uh, visually distinct, I would say, compared to the player cards. Uh, must not cut self. The knife's not that sharp, so it's, it's quite, it looks sharp, but it's actually fairly blunt. I've had it for a long time. And then yeah, so we got we got here just achievement cards. Okay, okay. And then let's get these open. So these are oh, more hero cards, I'm guessing. Yeah. I really like the backs of the hero cards. Very distinct. And then, oh, there's even more things under here. Okay. Jeez, a lot of fucking cards. Eh, got it. Come on. Oh no, crease the card. Send it back. Send it back. There we go. I'm in. Ah, so these are, I'm guessing, like, boss behavior cards. So they have, like, some hex movement on it and on the back. Like, start one player. Yep. I'm guessing these are some sort of boss things. What's the actual one that says boss? Hmm. Should we look at what's the front of So these are, like, yeah. Just player cards. This, the, this one, V, has like a stat thing on the back. And the, this is like just things about the, the enemies. So let's look at this last thing, last set of cards. So many cards, like 300 cards. Almost 300 cards. And this looks just like this is probably boss cards, I'm guessing. Yeah. I would say boss enemy cards, if I had to guess. Right, so that's everything in the core box. So here is uh, the Bloody Palace Devil Trigger expansion. Uh, requires the core game. Again, more lovely. Uh, game art on the box and um, some different art on the side there and it all matches quite nice I think all of these on like a shelf as I've stated before would look very nice so got similar sort of stuff on the back here um, another quote I couldn't protect Credo to this day I hate myself for not having enough strength but this time is different Nero the devil hunter are you ready to unleash your inner demons Release the destructive power with the Devil Trigger expansion. With this expansion, Dante, Nero, and Trish can use Devil Trig Trigger to take on incredible new forms and compete with exciting and new movesets. Not to be left behind, V can summon his third and most powerful demonic familiar, Nightmare, to gain a new level of control over the battlefield. Plus, this expansion introduces additional rules to set up the set up ladies game so she can compete with the Devil Trigger and Hearts Hunters and the dreaded Nightmare. Very card heavy this game. So let's get it let's get it open Ooh, carefully. There we go. There we go, there's the art in with out the shrink wrap on. Nice matte finish. Nothing on the inside of the box again. There's some like different art on the side. 
But yeah, this is the, I'm guessing the rules for using the devil triggers. We have these little things, more cardboard tokens. So we got just a few tokens and I'm guessing these are like expansions to the player board to let you use devil triggers. And here's the actual box. So that's with the box out. Is it sellotaped? It is sellotaped. Let's cut this little. Some very nice minis, which I will, you can sort of see, they're very detailed. Um, I'll go into like a full overview of all the minis as before. So these are just more cards. Let's get these out. These look like, okay, so you've got ladies character card. They're all stuck together. <laughs> there we go. And uh, these are v uh, more character cards. I'm guessing maybe like for the devil trigger alt modes. But you got all the main characters in there as well. Uh, yeah. So ladies, our oh, lady is, who knows where lady is. Ooh, I see more things already. Right, where's, where's my knife? So here we go, we got more what it looks like. Ah, okay, all right. We've actually got some stuff here. So these are like Devil Trigger cards by the looks of it. And there's some V cards and there's some Trish cards, Nero, Dante, Nightmare I'm guessing cards. And then like new cards with the Devil Trigger backs. Really nice art on these cards. So, yeah. And here we have some little gems, which are a game thing. There we go, look, look at that, that's nice. Nice little addition. And then we've got more like little gems. Ooh, oh no. Yeah, nice little green and red gems. I, I'm assuming they're like some sort of currency like in the game, but we, I don't know, because like I said, never played it. But that's everything for the Devil Trigger expansion. So this is the next expansion, the Alpha and the Omega expansion. Some nice uh, Virgil on the front and whoever that is. Virgil art on the side and some nice art on the bottom there. Um, another quote, what form of power is this? Virgil, the Alpha and the Omega. Oh, so he's both, okay. Experience a new level of carnage with the Alpha and the Omega expansion and it's two towering adversaries, the spinning spiked chaos and the bladed teleporting fury. And that's not all, because this expansion also introduces two highly anticipated boss enemies. One is the power-hungry demon Urzian, the Usurper. The other is the most iconic boss enemy in Devil May Cry history, Virgil, the Alpha and Omega. Are you ready? Let's just... Do that. I'm getting pro at this, getting this shrink wrap off. There is the art again without the shrink wrap. And here we are with the with the box un with the box lid off. So we've got the rule book, which very similar to the previous ones. Some more tokens. Little tokens. And ugh. 
Here is the models. Let's... Oh no, I've cut through the box. Ah, four bits of sellotape on this. It's a lot. Come on. No, come on. There we go. And try not to stab those cards. There we go. So let's get that off. Lots of like mini with bases. I think this is the minis that um they had to recall. I mean that doesn't fit at all, but okay. We'll we'll discuss that when we look over the minis, but you can see a nice nice little neat package there. And what fell off was more cards. So we've got some boss cards that we've seen before. Where's the Virgil card? There we go. That's the it's the money maker. And some more cards. If I can do it. There we go. So we've got more boss behavior cards maybe? Just more cards. And then some more. These are the, I, I think these are the boss behavior cards and the other ones are like stat cards. But you can see lots of like behavior cards similar to what we saw before. So that's pretty much everything in this expansion. Um, yeah. Let's move on. Here's the Devil May Cry, the Walking Arsenal expansion, the last one. Um, there's some nice art on this one, and this is another character, Lady, I believe. And there's another quote. What was that guy? Can't believe he just ran. Lady, the Walking Arsenal. Introduce a slew of new enemies to your table, to your tabletop with the Walking Arsenal expansion designed to be used alongside Devil May Cry, The Bloody Palace, the board game. Hope you, hope you bought a lot of sleeves if you're getting this game. Ooh. So let's get the top this box off. Okay, so we got the rule book. Oh, so this is just some minis, which again, go over after. And this, oh, some tokens there as well. And Who knew getting the sellotape off would be the hardest part of this video? Right, so you can see some more minis there and some more cards. We've opened so many cards, I feel like there's not really much point, but you can see uh, Lady gets her own back. Just some more action cards, some more boss cards, some more boss, mo boss uh, behavior cards, we think, and just some more boss stat cards, and there's some more minis below there. Right, so I think that's all the expansions. There is one more box we have to check out, so let's just move to that. So here it is, this is the final box. This is just something that was strapped to the top of the Kickstarter box. And I'm guessing, because I believe there was a message sent out to backers. There was like some production error on some of the bigger minis, but they managed to fix it like in transit sort of thing. So I'm assuming, yeah, these. What do we got here? Nothing else in there. We can get rid of that. What do we got? So these are two of the expansion minis, but the pegs, 
There we go. Look, the pegs actually fit, for starters. Just plug and play. So I do have spares. Okay, that's not gonna, there we go. a bit stiff <laughs> but he's in sort of I'll try and fix that before I do the mini overview oh hang on we got it we got it there we go okay yeah so that's the two minis that they've replaced from the core box yeah so that's everything unboxed so let's move over to the minis overview so here we have all of the core box minis all laid out. Uh, I'm going to do like a proper look at each of them. Obviously I'm not going to show the multiples. There's like quite a few of these things and a few of these things. There's a lot of characters. Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. First of all we've got Dante. I've got the little Monopoly thimble there for scale and overall it's a very nice mini. There's a lot of like detail. I don't know how much this shows on my camera. I don't know how well you can do a close up on a GoPro. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very detailed. Got like his sword on the back there, which is very cool. Pandante over there. So we got Trish as well. Which, all of these characters very well detailed and this is V with his like bird so like the wings it's hard to show but they're so like intricate like you can see all the feathers big chunky base as well I'm guessing because it fits on the board but Looks nice. Uh, here we have Nero? Yeah, Nero. I have <laughs> got a book open on my lap to see who's who. Again, he's got his sword on his back as well. They're all like pretty good scale as well. I, I think they're bigger than the only other one of Steamforge I have is Resident Evil. I think they're quite big. I think this is something to do with V, like V for someone's familiars. Um, what is this thing? This thing is a Impusa. Very cool. Similar, similar in scale to the, to the enemies. There's a lot of those Impusa things. What's this thing? This thing is Scudo Angelo, which is very cool. It's got like a shield and like throwing its sword through the shield. But you can see, like, even the back of the shield's quite detailed. Like a little face on the shield. Very nice. Quite a few of them. And there's the Hell Entora. Is that what it's called? Let's try and pull this. This is getting bigger. As you can see, like, compared to Nero and the Monopoly Thimble. It's quite, quite tall. And, yeah, it's quite a nice, like, detailing on the the blade there lots of like disgusting bulbous things on it and like a noose around the neck very nice detail so here we have it's called proto angelo i'm guessing another enemy there's only one of these in the game but it's a big model but very it's a very nicely detailed as with the others big base as well like three Three hexes. Yeah, quite quite bigger when compared to the others. Um, we got the Empusa Queen. 
which is another massive bug-like creature. Very intricate in its detailing. Again, they've really like outdone themselves, I think. Even compared to the Resident Evil 2, I think these are much more detailed. But this this one's quite big. Let's move that out of the way. Compare it to like Nero and the Monopoly Thimble. You see it's quite a quite a big big model for the game. Put them back there. Um what else we got? We've got this thing called Riot. Which is like a little a little face there little tongue sticking out a lot of like reptilian scales and you i don't know if it shows up very well but it's got like a scaled skin and they're tiny little details very nice and finally the biggest model in the corset elder garen knight just massive like a massive mini it's got like his spear and he's on like his horse with like a chain in its mouth and you careful not to poke the lens. <laughs> Just like massive mini. If you see it compared to Dante here, oh Nero, sorry. Like you get a real good sense of scale for the boss. Um, yeah. So that's all of the core box set. There's a lot of uh, like duplicates. So you do get quite a lot of minis. Let's move over to the expansion. Here we have all the minis in the Walking Arsenal expansion. I've got the the big one. We'll talk about that in a minute. There is a, an extra thing to discuss. Let's start with uh, Lady, the character in this expansion. And again, as with the other characters, nice detail that you can really see like all their little holstered pistol there and like all the patterns on her all the weapons on her holster like detailing on her gun and hair very intricate stuff there's also her powered up form which has a nice like effect on the base and it's a very it's a very similar model but in a different pose but very nice so there the, that's the two characters and then we have a Hellcana, which is, should be this way around, this creepy thing. Very intricate mini. It's a very, it, like, seems very fragile. Like, these arms are very thin. But, still, it's, still, it's quite sturdy. It probably wouldn't take it too much of a beating, but here it is in scale to, like, lady. It's pretty, pretty reasonable size mini. And then we got a Pyrobat which has really nice texture on the wings and like some nice detailing on the tail and on the back a lot of texture as well similar size to the Hellcana um, we have a Hellbat which looks different than it does in the manual but Wait, hang on let me get this manual picture up see that I know it's got like wings behind it, but here, wings up above its head with a little, little like thing coming out of its mouth. But very like veiny wings, you can see all the detail really nicely. This one's a little bit bigger. And then the big one in this set is Cavalier Angelo, very similar to that one on the horse from the main set, but very detailed mini. Very big mini as well. But at this point, probably not even considered a mini. But yeah, very nice. Very nice big showpiece boss mini. So this one came, this was an extra one in this cake style, and you have to be a bit careful, it pegs in. And it's supposed to just peg out, but it's very stiff once it's in there, and you can see I've actually already already broken mine um, this was so there was a production error and I have the errored one right here so this one like you're supposed to glue in so technically I have two but I'm not really that bothered 
about making uh, just having a spare nice to have um yes yeah, so that's all the minis for this expansion so here we have the four minis in the devil trigger expansion not as many minis as the others but they are four character minis so they there it is devil trigger trish with a cool sword uh, effect got some nice effects on the base like uh the powered up uh lady that we saw um this one is devil trigger nero i think looks slightly different from the shot in the manual but still a very nice mini very good detail on the feathers on the wings and stuff uh look this one is devil trigger dante which has an insane amount of detailing like all on the sword and on the wings all textured i imagine these minis will paint up very nice i don't do that because i don't have the patience and this one is nightmare which i think is like v's equivalent of a devil trigger and this one is beefy this is a big mini you can see compared to like trish and the monopoly thimble it's a very big mini so that's all the minis in the devil trigger expansion so here are all the minis in the alpha and omega expansion first off we have virgil who has some nice texturing on his arm and like his clothes are very detailed very nice mini and we have sin devil sin devil trigger virgil which very similar to dante is very textured on the wings his wings seem very delicate you wouldn't want to be playing too rough with these minis i think um what else we got we got chaos which is another big mini lots of like little protrusions on its back like fins i guess and lots of scale markings and stuff and very creepy face a very cool mini as well um fury is on here which looks quite similar to chaos and uh, lots of like markings like gill markings and like spines and tongue sticking out some big big minis in this expansion and the last mini is Urizen, which I still can't pronounce, and this mini is just huge, but very detailed. Lots of like creepy eyes and sticking out bits. And you can see, like compared to to Nero and like the Monopoly thimble, he's a big boy. You can see off to the side there. <laughs> There's actually two two furies. Um, I get with the I forget what his name is but this guy there is a production error on this one this one's a little bit I was able to unpeg it so it's a lot as fragile as the other one but you can see here it's this one's supposed to be glued in I don't know how you would glue it in because his legs don't come close to getting in the pegs but um, I imagine they wouldn't be in any production I don't even know if these are in production I think this might have been Kickstarter exclusive but yeah they've sorted it sorted it before it came out so that's all the minis for this expansion so that's it that's devil may cry the bloody palace the board game as you can see look it's all stacked here in its glory can you tell i shot this on a different day because wearing a different t-shirt than the beginning of the video um overall a lot of nice minis in this set i think better than higher quality minis than uh the resident evil 2 board game which is the only one of the steam forged games one i have at the moment i think in terms of like box management i think they've done a lot better than they did in resident evil as well 
Resident Evil, I think there was a lot of uh, wasted space. I still think that I could probably get all these expansions into this box. I did a custom... I built a little inlay for Resident Evil 2. I was able to get a lot of the boxes in, a lot of the expansions in there. And I think I can probably do the same for this one because it's it's mostly cards. There is a quite, there is like minis, but I think, you know. Um, One of these expansions, I forget which, it was very annoying to get the minis out of because the card and get it all back together because like the cards were like in the side and they kept slipping underneath the thing. It was very annoying. Um, But yeah. If you like Devil May Cry and you like board games, probably give it a buy. I don't know. There's a, like, if you like minis, there's a lot of nice minis in there. Um, I don't even know if you can buy these. I know you can buy this one. This one, I think you can pre-order or it's already ordered. So that's the video. Uh, now, if you've came this far, maybe you're wanting to go a little bit further. You can watch me streaming video games on twitch at twitch.tv slash jade sam games uh i sometimes stream by myself i sometimes stream with my friend jade hence the name jade sam games um other than that if this video was good maybe i'll do more i do get a lot of these i've got a lot of these video these video game board games on pre-order i'm pretty sure i've got i know i've got horizon i think that's next year uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, which is this year, but I think it's probably going to get pushed. Bloodborne, again, like end of this year, early next year. Uh, what else? The Vampire the Masquerade board game, chapters. Not video game, but you know, still a minis heavy board game. There's a Marvel one with this, a bunch of little like chibi Marvel minis. This all come in. So yeah, you want to see more of this? Let me know. I'll do it. Or I won't, you know. It's a free world. That's how I end the video, apparently. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.